Welcome back to my video guys and today we're back with a new update video uh, Today we have sneak peek of the brand new upcoming update uh, 4.3 No Mercy Now we uh, were teased with this update We knew that season 11 is coming and it's a pretty small update But it brings some interesting content uh, regarding the new season 11 that's about to start airing I'm really excited about this I always like these content updates of when the show airs uh, really makes it more interesting watching episodes and playing missions and uh, with other new things uh, based on that uh, but yeah first of all we have a brand new loading screen to match the theme of the upcoming season now as you can see there's some really cool things in this loading screen now first of all the background looks sick I really like that a dark orange brownish uh, color uh, and now we have a new look on Carol and this is a really uh, this is a look I wanted to see in this game uh, now uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get it in this update uh, we have a new look for Carol hopefully uh, this is going to be a nice new skin in future or potentially a new shooter Carol uh, with a bow like Yumiko is uh, but definitely looks amazing and behind Carol we have a brand new hero that's coming into this update and that is Mercer now we did see that he's coming in our world and now they're gonna bring him to a no man's land as well he's a brand new character about to be introduced in season 11 if you have read the comics you're gonna know he's one of the people in the commonwealth community uh, and he's about to uh, uh, appear uh, in the show in the in the new episodes about to air uh, and he's gonna come into no man's land and uh, be an amazing guy I guess uh, yeah right the first thing we have in this update is season 11 a missions as we know season 11 is going to air in three cohorts season 11 a b and c eight episodes each i believe uh, and the first eight are going to air between now uh, in 22nd of august and the beginning of october we have a new episode every monday uh, and you can get extra rewards by beating all the trials within a week of release now we have a brand new campaign the no mercy campaign which is focused on the new season and it's gonna start uh, on the 23rd of August, lasting until the 13th of September. You're gonna be able to collect uh, uh, No Mercy tokens uh, the same way uh, the, the same ways as other campaigns. Uh, we have two amazing rewards. The first one, a 2,000 token. We have the Soul Tooth Spike, which is a brand new scout weapon that's coming into the game. Now this one has a, re uh, it's not a new mechanic, it's the same mechanic. Every time you kill an enemy, you're gonna get an action point back and you're gonna reduce the threat by one. This weapon is also gonna do an additional amount of damage and it also has uh, silver charging, gold destructive and gold razor straight. Pretty standard weapon, we had these weapons before. I like those uh, regain action point weapons uh, because they can do more, uh, kill more enemies basically on the same turn and also get less enemies spawning, uh, which is amazing. Now at 3000 tokens, we have Mercer, as we mentioned, Mercer is coming and he's gonna be a premium reward. You have to spend gold to get him, uh, you have to reset the distance uh, or buy the tokens in shop. Uh, or wait for his radio call when it comes up, but he's not going to be unlocked through the seasonal missions He's going to be unlocked through the campaign uh, and he's a very interesting hero because he has a leader trait Which is like a mini version of Negan's in a way uh, Let's see. Uh, let's look at this table with his uh, leader trait. So basically he has a 50% fixed chance to deal a percentage of the enemy's current HP as damage Okay, this is similar to the way Shiva did it in you know, for the for the last stand. Um, but he's gonna do that uh, HP as damage, and also he has a chance to resist any status effect. So, for instance, if a spiky attacks you, there is a chance that you won't bleed if the chance activates. And if he's a leader, basically the whole team is gonna benefit from it. He's gonna be also an assault class. I forgot to mention. Uh, and now looking at the table, his leader trait works both on uh, human enemies and walkers. So you have a different HP as damage for ranged in melee people. And uh, also something to mention here is that his basically his trait works on any single attack possible. So Overwatch, Retaliate, Revenge, Punish, uh, attack from other leader trait like beat them up and firing squad, body shots and charge attacks all have a chance to activate this leader trait. Like I. I I think this is not a bad trade to be honest also lucky can boost the first and last column so the chance to deal that 50% chance can be boosted by lucky and also the chance to resist status effects can be boosted by the lucky trade as well um, and uh, the other thing is that uh, if you have other stun resistant uh, properties in combat such as stun resistance the, this will result in an additional chance 
of stun taking effect if the first one fails uh, and his other traits are iron skin marksman dodge and lucky honestly i think they are right for a bruiser uh good to have lucky on him and you can also obviously reroll those if you want um he's an assault class uh so i guess these are all right trades uh okay uh this is mercer and we have some other uh, changes as well um in particularly for the last stand uh, so the cycle rewards, uh, they're now presented with a timer, so uh, we have the top scores, now it's going to take you top 4 scores instead of the top 5 scores. Um, okay, so burning and bleeding starter effect icons are no longer displayed on top of the characters like other starter effects. Uh, there are some different colors they change and also the way that st uh, starter effects look. Uh, I've, I've, I've been reading some bad things about these new status icons because they make things a lot more confusing than NG actually planned them to. Uh, obviously they plan them to be more helpful but it seems like people don't really like them. Uh, obviously NG didn't have much time to see to figure out what they're going to do with them in this update. So we're going to see maybe in future updates whether they're going to remove them or they're going to change them or whatever they're going to do. Uh, but we have also some very very important bug fixes from the last update which brought them, for instance, the absent issue in Guild Wars, they have to postpone the Guild Wars, uh, I think the round 4, the 4th Guild War. Um, so some people were not able to connect to guilds, some people could not retire survivors, scouts had this funny slow mode when they were having Kingdom Spear or some other long weapon, uh, uh, long weapons. I mean weapons with long range, um, Negan's leader trade didn't work on a specific map, Rufus leader trade in last stand, uh, you know like uh, Morningstar not getting that, Dead Jam didn't have that animation, honestly uh, fast walkers with chains, so there's like some really bugs that I'm glad they managed to fix in this short amount of time including adding all this new content and stuff uh, and uh, this is a really cool update to, to be able to install so you can get these fixes as well and hopefully this update doesn't bring more bugs. Uh, or more game breaking bugs. But yeah, this is really the update. Season 11, A missions, new hero Mercer, new campaign, deadly dead food spike, I forgot the name, uh, and then some other really cool bug fixes. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the update and I'll see you guys on my next video.